John the Baptist's disciples came to Jesus and they said, are you he or do we look for another? He said, go back to John, tell him what you've seen and heard. The deaf hear, the blind see, the lame walk, and the poor have the gospel preached them. Unless you see and hear, it's so hard to believe. That's why we've made this film, so you can see and hear how Jesus Christ can meet needs in lives today. Life was very difficult. I was ill about six months after my daughter Alice was People born. Experience. Well, I said to this young lady over here, I'll pray for her, so I will. Come on. Up you get. She's got ME. It's a real disease, and the doctors are wrong if they say it isn't. But Jesus Christ is over every disease. Lord, from this day, change things around. It was only really from after that meeting that I went to, went to a Sunday lunch with another couple Thank from the church, you, and then I suddenly realised, well, I don't really feel that tired. And uh, the following week, I just wasn't as tired as I, I had been. And when you came? I was feeling really, really ill, trying to look after a three-year-old. It was very difficult. And I just, I can look after her all day now. Rather, before, I couldn't, I could barely look after her for half a day. And I, last week after I was prayed for and healed, I looked after her for three days in a row. And I just felt really good. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> Giving life. In this church where we meet three times a week at least, we see things that can't be explained naturally, miracles. And we know that Jesus Christ is faithful. He's the miracle worker. is in a church it's simple miracles always happen I tell people there's no miracles no Jesus cartilage problems anymore. Pastors and preachers preach about the miracle working of Jesus Christ but have never experienced the reality of it for themselves. Shariki came desperately ill. He needed a miracle. And when he came, he found the living God who is the miracle working God. I, I went to see my GP and I explained to him what I was feeling because the heart is this size. And then I, I, I was very concerned because this is the engine of your, of, your, of your life. And that's when he discovered my blood pressure was 182 over 140. Well, you came for a miracle. Come and get it. The legs were getting numb. At night I wasn't sleeping because I was scared I'm going to die. Lift up your hands. And I was desperate. So I asked him to pray for me that day. Something just, just snatched out 
It was like electricity, that's how I can explain it. And uh, when he touched here and prayed, it was like pins and needles went around my chest. So I went to bed, I just whizzed out, went into the car, and we were so blessed. You say, I don't want to talk to nobody. I just want to go into my, the hotel and just be quiet with my God. And I just stayed there, and we, went to, we couldn't go to sleep. We went to sleep. The next morning, the pain is gone, so I was waiting. Is it going to come? And uh, it's going to come. And up to now, the pain is gone. And I had the, this is my second day. I, I carried my daughter from the hotel up to the car. all the way to the hotel, up to the room, without stopping into the stairs. And I was just coming up and down. No, no. <laughs> and uh, I don't have to take a few deep breaths. So I'm going on, on Friday just to have a check and see how I am. And he just says, just go and get yourself checked. And uh, I'm just doing, I'm running about. I'm, I'm, I'm a new man. I'm a new man. And.